but it's related to what we were already talking about. Have you guys noticed um, with Colin Kaepernick and Floyd Mayweather, like I see a lot of sports columnists and also sports fans, they'll hate Colin Kaepernick, but they'll love Muhammad Ali or they'll hate <laughs> Floyd, Floyd Mayweather. But they'll love Jack Robinson. I mean, Jack Johnson. And they'll say stuff like, oh, Colin Kaepernick, he's like a selfish punk. He needs to take a lesson from Muhammad Ali. Or they'll say, right. or they'll right. say uh, Jack Johnson was honorable, but, you know, Mayweather, he's no Jack Johnson. Like if, you, if you say Mayweather is basically exactly Jack Johnson, or Kaepernick is doing the same thing Muhammad Ali was doing at his peak, at his prime. And, but to say that, you also got to say that Kaepernick's receiving the same kind of treatment Ali received when he did what he did. <laughs> right. Yeah. Which which they seem to ignore. I'm like, Ali wasn't, you know, praised at the time. He was only praised right. after he wasn't able to stand up anymore. Exactly. exactly. And it's, they do the same thing with Martin Luther King. They do the same thing with Malcolm X. It's like, yeah. you killed those guys. You hated them at the time when they were, you jailed yeah. them and you killed them. Right? Yeah, so, yeah. You do people got to go, don't they? Like, yeah, 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 you got to reference a guy that you killed, and I, when I say you, I mean I, I, I'm charging that to them too because they would have been with the shits if they were alive back then. So right. that's charging see, it to see, them see, too. Yeah, and that's the thing. Like, um, I'll be on Twitter and I'll ask them what is substantively different about Muhammad Ali protesting racism and the Vietnam War. Like, protest sitting out of war. Why is that any better than sitting up, standing out, sitting out, standing up? up for an anthem like you know like yeah. why do you like and the truth is they only like muhammad ali because and and any of these people martin luther king malcolm x um or jack johnson is because they were neutralized and they don't realize like like they actually think that they're racially enlightened and progressive you know they think oh yeah i like these guys for the right reasons and something wrong about these guys and I'm like no you like those guys from the past because they ended up being safe like um muhammad ali at the end of his life was his fortune was largely dwindled he was taking pictures with old white men posing with his uh fist at their chin for fun wow. for money like, yeah. like like that was one of his last hustles like he was you know jack johnson was uh broke um you know malcolm x and martin died like like you said like if Buck breaking if yeah yeah if those guys yeah buck breaking if those guys <laughs> who are making these you can comparison if they were alive back then they would have hated muhammad ali t like everybody wants to believe they're on the right side of history mm -hmm. you know not only that i think it's also um it's a way for them to kind of put a bottle cap on the era of segregation discrimination and prejudice martin luther king malcolm x uh, Jack Johnson, um, Muhammad Ali. That was back then when real racism was. That's going a great on. point. Yep, yep. Mm, you know what mm, I, mean? I didn't even think about. I didn't even think about that. You're right. So, so you're yeah. saying that they're saying, "Hey, back then the difference is, it was real back then. Now we're right. in utopia." Oh, so 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 exactly. so they're like those guys that say, "Hey, we have a black president now." So. It, Boom. There so, you go. Oh, see, it? that's deep. I didn't think about that. That's 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 that's, that's a good note to end it on, man. I well, they made that argument too, though. Back back in Muhammad Ali's day, they made the argument yep. that things were better than. That's the argument they always use. We progressed they beyond always. that. We progressed. Beyond, I mean, meanwhile, you know what they were going through then. You yeah, know, yeah. Arguments just uh, they never stop. You know, it's like that scripture that says, "There's nothing new under the sun." When you really go back and you look, even a hundred years ago. Um, and you see things like um, the governor of Florida, um, when the NAACP went to him and talked to him about um, the racial issues that were going on and the black men that were being lynched in the state of Florida at the time. And he says, you know, you're you're instead of talking to us about the lynching going on, you need to be talking to black people about uh, crime in the black community. You know what I mean? And this was back in the, the early 1900s that they were saying things like this. And they're still using those same um, excuses and scapegoats to this very day to justify the mistreatment of black people. So it, nothing ever changes. 